Right, in this video, we're going to rationalise the denominator of something slightly more complicated. So, rationalise the denominator of these fractions. So, we've got 2 over 3 plus root 5, and b, 3 over 2 minus root 3. Now, we need to use this idea. We know that a plus b, a minus b, is the same as doing a squared minus b squared. So, if we've got 2 over 3 plus root 5, then what we do is we look at the denominator... And we're going to multiply by 3. Now, if the sign here is a plus, we will make the sign here a minus. And then we will also make that root 5. Okay, so it's 3 minus root 5. So we've now got this sort of situation. And because we've done it to the denominator, we must also do it to the numerator. So we multiply the numerator by 3 minus 2 root 5. So that's going to give me, using this, 3 squared minus b squared. So it's going to be b is root 5, so it's root 5 squared. On the top, we're just going to have two brackets, 3 minus root 5. So carrying on, leave the denominator to what it is. Now 3 squared is 9, and then root 5 squared is 5 from what we did before. And then we're going to have the same on the top. And then 9 minus 5 will give me 4. And then the 2 and the 4 will cancel. And then we're just going to get 3 minus root 5 over 2. Now if we use the calculator, we will... Uh, we can see that 2 over 3 root 5 is uh, the same as 3 minus root 5 over 2. So if you put this in your calculator, using you have to be in math mode, making sure that you use the fraction button, then the calculator will do this for you if we check in your answer. However, in an exam, you will have to show how to get from there to there with all the steps of the uh, working Okay, looking at the next one. So we've got 3, 2 minus root 3. So we're going to multiply by 2. Now it's a minus here this time, so this time we need to change that to a plus. And then we need to put in root 3. Now because we've done it to the denominator, we must also do it to the numerator. Right, so using the idea what we've just done. So the numerator will just become 3 times 2 plus root 3, but the denominator will become 4 minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. So that's going to become 3, 2 plus root 3 over 1, which gives an answer of 3 times 2 plus root 3. And if I multiply that bracket out, you could write it as 6 plus 3 root 3. Again, on our calculator, if we did it on the calculator, so use the fraction button on your calculator, get 3, 2 minus root 3. You can see we end up with our answer 6 plus 3 root 3. So this has been a video to show you how to rationalise the denominator of a third. It's slightly more complicated. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.